Hey everyone, welcome to Savvy Signs. So I just got a new job this week and I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about it and then go into today's video. So it's this cute little store called Southern Bound Bookshop and you basically can bring in your old books that you've already read a billion times and trade them in for other used books. And you're not spending as much money either because when you turn in your old book, you get store credit and half of that goes to your next book that you buy. So I don't make a lot of money there, but it's really great to be able to be so close to work and to also enjoy the type of work that I'm doing. I worked on my first day and she taught me how to trade in books and I also had to organize the whole adventure section in ABC order by author, which was insane and I got a big headache from that, but it's really simple and it's actually just a fun place to work because so many local people come in to support the local business and I think it's really great. For today's video, I wanted to share a few of my favorite books with you all. It's just a few books that I've read throughout middle school, high school, and college. So I'm gonna jump into my favorite books and give you guys a little background on all of them. So the first two books are fiction and they're both by Michael Ende. My first book actually has a movie to go along with it that was made in the 80s. This book is called The Never Ending Story. So this book follows a kid named Bastion who's really imaginative, creative, and he gets in trouble a lot at school for not focusing on his work. And one day he ends up going to his local library and he picks up this book called The Never Ending Story. As he reads it, he realizes that all of these creations were invented or made by past readers. But the problem is he has to create a new story for this world as it's slowly dying. Not as many people are reading these books and putting their imaginations into it. So it's up to him to imagine a whole new world for this book. So it's a really good book and I suggest this book to you just because it's really creative and imaginative and it really inspires you to just be a more, I don't know, creative person. So the never ending story. So my second favorite fiction book is called Momo. It's by the same author as The Never Ending Story, and it also has a movie. So this book is basically about a girl named Momo. She lives in this amphitheater close by this town, and every day she'll go into town and she'll see all the townspeople being friendly and having relationships with each other. But one day she notices these men in gray coming to take time away from everyone in town. So the townspeople start to be so busy that they can't have relationships and conversations with everyone else and they're so focused on their work and their business that they don't talk to anyone. So she goes on this adventure to take back the time that these thieves have stolen from her town. So this book is kind of relatable to our society now. There's so many people out there that are so busy with themselves and their work that they don't have time to spend with their family or their friends. So I really recommend this book just for the sake of imagination that's in it. It's really good, so check this one out. So our next genre is also fiction, but these two books have movies made from them that are both with the Studio Ghibli film company. So the first book is The Borrowers. This actually has a movie called The Secret World of Arietti. So it's about these little people that live in normal humans houses. And these people called The Borrowers, they'll go into the normal humans house and they'll go take sugar or they'll borrow a Kleenex and they basically use these items to live. One day this little boy goes to stay in vacation at this house where these borrowers are and he starts to see them. So the borrowers have to figure out what they are going to do with this new little boy that knows about them. So it's a really good book to read, especially if you're younger or if you just enjoy reading these fictional characters. It's a really creative book and I love it a lot. Our next Studio Ghibli book is called Howl's Moving Castle. Now this was my first Studio Ghibli movie I ever saw and this is still one of my favorites to this day. It is such a great movie and it is such a great book. Howl's Moving Castle follows a girl named Sophie. She is the eldest of the daughters and she has to take care of her mom's hat shop since her mom passed away. She lives a pretty normal life until she comes across a wizard named Howl. She ends up living in his castle with him but she's under a curse as an old woman and she can't tell anyone about it. So she has to figure out how to undo her curse as she's living and dealing with his curse. So our last genre of books would be nonfiction, but I would also put it under history and autobiographies. So the first book I recommend is Red Scarf Girl. 
I had to read this my freshman year of high school and I love this book so much. It's about this young girl and her life in the Cultural Revolution in China. So basically in China, they got a new emperor that was taking out the old and putting in the new. So her and her family aren't very wealthy people and they try to hide and disguise all of their old things. She'll go to school and she'll get made fun of for having old clothes or old things in her house. And it's really about fighting and trying to make it through this cultural revolution as a young girl. So there were a lot of things she wasn't allowed to do, such as try out for certain teams in school. Because of her family's social status, they wouldn't let her do these things. It's a really good read because you actually understand a lot more about the Chinese history back then. So my next favorite book is Farewell to Manzanar. This is about a young girl and her life as she gets put into this camp with other Japanese Americans that came over and the struggles that her and her family have to deal with just because they're Japanese. This is a really interesting book as well because a lot of Japanese people were coming over for the opportunities here and because of wars and they get discriminated against just because of their color and their race. So my last book is called My Brother, Sister and I and this actually has a previous book but this one has more information on it. And this is basically about World War II in Japan and they had to live through this and they lost their family and they basically had to struggle and find ways to live throughout this war. So they lose their home and they have to move and live and survive on their own. I recommend this book to you because it goes along with history as well and I believe that it's really important for us to learn more about our history and how to stop future issues. All right, everyone, and that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed listening to my recommendations. And if you have any books that you'd like me to check out, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos. I'll see you next time.